of the past was the world of the pyramids. The biggest pyramid in uh, China is 65 meters high. The biggest pyramid in the city of Teotihuacan in Mexico, 74. The biggest Mayan pyramid, El Mirador in Guatemala, 103 meters. The biggest pyramid in Egypt, the Great Pyramid of Egypt, or Cheops, or Khufu, 147. And the biggest pyramid on the planet is in front of you. The Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. What makes a pyramid a pyramid? It's not tomb or pharaoh, but geometry. They are structures. You have to have a geometry of the pyramid. Look in front of us. We can see one side. To the left is the second side. To the right is the third side. In the back is the fourth side. So this is four-sided pyramid. We can see two corners in front of us. We can see one triangular face in front of us. The second one is to the left, the, the third one to the right, the fourth one, the damaged one, is in the back. We can see the same slope from the bottom to the top, bottom to the top, bottom to the top. And finally, those four sides meet in apex at the top. So the geometry is present. And this pyramid is rather well preserved. Comparing to some pyramids in China, Guatemala or Mexico, this is much better preserved than those. So that's the first element, the geometry. The second one is the side orientation. All pyramids in China are oriented to the north. Well, they are four-sided, so it is east, west, north and south. But north being the most important. When I say north, I mean cosmic north, the location of the northern star. Not magnetic north. Magnetic north moves every year between Canada and Siberia and back. All, all the Egyptian pyramids, north. Most of the Peruvian pyramids, north. All Cahokia pyramids, north. Some of the Mexican, north. So far we thought that the best orientation is the northern side of the Great Pyramid of Egypt. The error from the perfect north, zero degrees, and two minutes. So it is just a fraction of one degree. Hmm. The Bosnian State Institute for Geodesy measured the orientation of this side to the north. And the error is zero degrees, zero minutes, and 12 seconds. So this is the most precise orientation ever. The third element is the artificial construction material. In Guatemala, they shaped volcanic stones to build the pyramids. In Peru, they used adobe bricks. In Egypt, they used limestone and granite from Asun. Here in Bosnia, as you will see, as you will see today, they used concrete. The whole pyramid is covered in excellent quality concrete. The element number four, inner passageways. The element number five, underground tunnels, which you're gonna see next. The element number six, water. Always very important. In our case, we have two major rivers, River Fornica and River Bosnia, and a lot of underground water streams. The significance of underground water streams you will realize over the next few days. And the element number seven is sacred geometry. Three main pyramids here, the sun, moon and dragon, form perfect equilateral triangle when you connect their tops. 2,170 meters, 2,170, 2,170. So all seven elements have been fulfilled in the case of Bosnian Pyramid. 